Welcome everyone to Hear Your News. Today is October 22nd, 2018, the home of the two minute price prediction, as well as giving you all the news according to the charts. We're here to certify that the articles that we read on a daily basis to see if it correlates with the price charts. Okay, now for today, uh, we are going to talk about Tesla and Ford, which one would be a better buy. But before we go into this article, please make sure that you all continue to subscribe to this channel as well as like and share these videos because this is one of the things that we do best. We dissect these articles to see which is which to make sure that it's actually correlating with the price charts. That's one of the hardest things to do uh, when you're trying to go into trading and investing, especially when you have so many varying opinions out there as to certain stocks, commodities, and even cryptocurrencies. You got to substantiate what is being written as well as what is being said according to the price charts so go ahead and make sure that you subscribe to this channel share and as well as like these videos so now this article is from the motley fool uh, the title of it is better buy is tesla incorporated versus ford motor company which one is a better buy for today okay uh, it's written by john rosevere Today, October 22nd, 2018, uh, shares of both of these companies have been beaten up lately. So now you ask yourself the question, which one is a better bet? We're going to go ahead and point out some things in this particular article, and then we're going to look at the price charts. And after that, we'll give you our analysis as to what we expect these two stocks to be and which one would be a better buy according to the price charts. So now, John goes ahead and writes that the comparison is going to be between Tesla and Ford and it might seem kind of strange given that Tesla is the future and Ford is the past. Okay. Now, which is the better buy for new money right now? As we continue to look at this particular chart, you can see that both of these companies are down over 25% within the last year with Ford going down as low as 30.5%. You can tell as well on this particular chart that the volatility for Tesla stock is, is a lot greater than with Ford. Definitely shows you that there is some very good profit taking, uh, profitable ideas and strategies for Tesla stock comparative to Ford, given the slow movement in the stock of Ford. Ford is also trading about five times its training, its trailing 12 month earnings, while Tesla is trading at roughly 21 times its per share loss over the same period so naturally the positive is going towards Ford, given the fact that they're at least trading above five times is trailing 12 month earnings and tesla is trading at roughly 21 times its loss per share over the same period so that tells you right there that tesla is definitely overvalued giving the consideration that the net income for Tesla has literally been nil. They've been trading at a loss. The truth is Ford and Tesla are different kind of stocks, right? One is that Ford is profitable. They continue to have net income, uh, for instance, 7.6 billion in 2017, 4.6 billion in 2016, and then 7.4 billion in 2015. Tesla is not profitable. It has managed, though, to eke out some quarterly profit here and there over its history, but for a yearly basis, it has not done that. It has not profited a yearly uh, profit for Tesla at all in its history. Tesla's valuation is not about the fundamentals, talking about the net income, the earnings per share, all those type of fundamentals. It's about the story that Elon Musk is inventing the future of cars not just of the cars but also of energy okay and even in the minds of some of those enthusiasts tesla growth seems to be unlimited as a matter of fact it goes down in this particular article that about a year and a half ago an analyst called adam jonas for morgan stanley released a note stating that tesla eventually would have a market cap of about 15 trillion dollars or about the fifth of the entire world's gross domestic product that is about outlandish as you can get considering that the fact that tesla market cap hit 60 billion in 2017 and that's about one and a half times forwards at that same time given the fact that tesla is struggling 
to get his Model 3 sedan onto the market, at least mass market, and into full production, installing and then partially ripping out the highly automated production line, concerns about build quality, a long list of executive departures, and as well as Tesla diminishing cash reserves, makes it hard to convince investors that Tesla is still a buy at its current price and also that it can hit 15 trillion dollars in market cap all those things that i just mentioned are definitely the negative uh, towards tesla stock so something that we definitely need to keep in mind as we look at these price charts as well now um john goes on and write it's possible that tesla can still uh, have some profit in third quarter by delivering mostly loaded high margin versions of his model 3 and it's possible that it will report a fairly healthy cash balance at the end of the period and then it's possible that those things will give tesla stock price a boost at least for a little while so keep that in mind he had to throw that in there to try to leave itself an out just in case tesla stock is to increase in price but the story has worn thin Tesla's margin for error appears thinner now than it has in previous years. Uh, there's a strong case to be made that despite its 26% stock price plunge over the last year, Tesla is still overvalued at its current stock price. So now let's move on to Ford. Let's see what is going on with this particular company too. Ford is struggling just a little bit. And it's only for the fact that its sales and its margin has slipped over the past several quarters because their product line is old. Ford needs to come out with a fresh line of new automobiles and get rid of a lot of the older age models and especially those that are not bringing in any revenue for this particular company. Ford may not have Tesla's growth story but it has something a bit more concrete going for it, a dividend yielding about 6.8% at the current prices. High dividend yields are often a cautious sign because companies in trouble tend to cut dividends early. There are good reasons to believe that Ford will be both willing and able to sustain this quarterly dividend at current levels, even through a recession when its profits and share price might well get squeezed. So that's a very good positive for Ford outside of Tesla is that it is giving a dividend on a quarterly basis, not a yearly basis to its shareholders while Tesla is not. OK, so even if Ford stock was to dwindle in price, you are still be getting a dividend while Tesla, you will not even if that particular stock goes to the downside. So. Keep that in mind as we look at these price charts to see which one would be a better buy. But for the patient investor, this is what John writes. Ford is a good bet for substantial share price growth from here over the next five to seven years or so. That is a very long time. He also mentions as a disclosure that he owns Ford stock and he has no plans to sell. As for Tesla, it really depends on how you feel about the story he writes. He never believed the more outlandish predictions for Tesla, but he felt that Tesla could have a chance to become at least a BMW size, selling around 2 million to 3 million premium vehicles a year at good margins. Now, there's still a slight chance that it can happen in his particular uh, idea, in which case Tesla stock might be worth on the fundamentals something like what is selling for now around 250 260 dollars per share but then there's also a chance it could drop sharply from here if the company is forced to restructure or recapitalize possibilities that look a lot more likely now than they did a couple of years ago so given the facts on this particular article uh, granted you can see that john is vying for four stock stating that it is a buy over Tesla stock. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at Tesla and Ford on the price chart to see which one would be a better buy. So now the first one up is going to be Tesla. This is that monthly chart that we've been seeing on this particular channel for a while. And overwhelmingly, you can still see that this particular stock is weak 
uh, the monthly chart definitely shows you that there's no strength coming in this particular space I am expecting to try to hold that 240 240 dollar area but if we break this ascension line in Tesla then definitely it can find a huge decrease in price around 225 even 200 dollars I can even see it coming to 175 if the overall recession or market correction is a lot worse than a lot of people or analysts are anticipating so the weekly chart you can still see here that the strength and Tesla is not here uh, albeit it, it can hold above this ascension line then Tesla will still get another pop to the upside you can definitely expect that maybe back up to 275 or even $300 and that would need to occur relatively soon okay so looking at Tesla it definitely seems that it has the ability to move substantially lower in price is definitely something that we do need to see given the fact that a lot of the points that was made in the article uh, substantiate that it can literally happen especially if Tesla continues to uh, not make a profit has to recapitalize or they cannot get their model 3 to mass production to really increase its net income Tesla definitely has an increased likelihood of moving a lot lower in price now let's go ahead and look at Ford okay so this is the monthly chart for Ford and as you can tell that ever since 2014 we have been moving to the downside in Ford and literally I am expecting this market in Ford to come and hold support maybe around that seven dollars and fifty cent price level that is going to be the first area of support so we're already literally traded there now so given the fact that Ford has dividends Ford is profitable on a yearly basis and now that we're coming back towards support around that seven dollars and fifty cent area Ford would definitely be a better buy in this particular situation between the price charts okay now if we're able to break seven dollars and fifty cents then literally we could come back down to around six dollars in four in order for this particular stock to hold support now in either case uh, as of today I would still say that these both of these stocks are not buy opportunities right now I definitely like to see if these stocks can hold support literally around that eight dollar price level for Ford and then seven dollars and fifty cents if that cannot hold and then that might be a buy opportunity at least for the long term as John mentioned in his article but given the fact that we have these two price charts uh, Ford is coming a lot nearer to areas of resistance I will be looking for Ford to be the buy in this particular case between Tesla and Ford now I would like to know your opinion what do you guys think do you think Tesla is a better buy over Ford let us know your opinion with a comment below and as always I will put this link in the description of this video so you guys can continue to read more about this article if it interests you again make sure you guys go ahead and like and subscribe to this particular video and subscribe to this channel as well make sure you all maintain your profitability I will see you all later